Hello, Taurus, and happy Sunday to each and every one of you, Taurus. Let's go. Let's get into your reading, Taurus. I've already prayed over your cards. The energy is already clear. Let's see what messages comes out in your reading. Let's see what messages come out in your reading, Taurus. Let's go. Page of Cups. So some good news is coming across your path. Some good news is coming across your path. Um, here we have the Page of Cups, right? Somebody is thinking about you from the past, and um, it's some energies that you don't want back into your life, right? Um, here's a Devil card. Here we also have the Empress card. Here we also have the Star card. The Four of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands, right? So, um, <clears throat> the Devil card. So during the during the um, during this full moon that we have here, the moon is in Cancer. Um, cancer is the mother of the zodiac, and then the polarity sign would be Capricorn's card. I feel like somebody is starting to cut ties with anything that is preventing you from shining bright, even including calling people outside of you the devil, uh, because we know that's a I see you. I see you moving forward and saying, "I need to. I need to focus on my star shining bright because you inspire so many people, you know, Taurus, to just even. Um, that's what's going to help somebody feel a lot better. This Four of Pentacles is about being conservative with your time, and just recognizing that when I when I gave time to things that I thought possibly would make me happy. It actually, I was actually dimming my own light instead of being obedient to source. And that's what I see you moving forward. I see there's definitely some rebirth happening here uh, where you are cutting ties with any energies where you feel like inside of you is, mm, you may have been holding on for too long and it's actually a distraction from your own purpose, like making you feel like, okay, I got to hold on to something but I, I definitely see your star shining but i see you motivating a lot of people so that's what i'm seeing for you all i see you focusing on the ways that people have show, shared with you how you brighten their life taurus um how you've motivated them how your innovative ideas have made them feel nurtured protected and secure and appreciated um because that's what this full moon was really, really all about. Is like, did you feel nurtured, protected, and secure, and appreciated in spaces? And that's where I feel like you're going to go where you're appreciated, not where you're just tolerated, right? And so this moon in Libra is helping you to balance things out, like helping everybody to balance everything out and take off of your internal scales. Libra's, um, um, yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like this I feel like this uh tower card I feel like you're having a tower moment and just recognizing that you are a star. I, I feel like you are looking at looking at your star power in a different kind of way and staying away from energies that have harshly judged you. If that makes sense. This is Mars, this is Pluto. Um I, I see I feel like you are staying away from energies that um I feel like somebody's intuition is extremely heightened. And, I, and I'm talking to you if you have, if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. I feel like something may have felt like a scorpion sting to somebody. And of course, we know with Scorp scorpion, um, the scorpion, the cousins would be mites and um, spiders, anything that could set a trap, you know, for you. I see you saying, let me stay away from that because if I feel like in my spirit that something could be a setup for me, I probably should listen to my intuition before it happens so that I don't play a role in dimming my own sunlight. You're in a very, um, you're in a very um, vulnerable position right now, Taurus, and so 
you want to start during this full moon phase that we're in, you may want to pull your birth chart and find out, okay, let me look at the other aspects of my birth chart being a Taurus so that in the future, I don't miss if there are energies that's trying to cut my star down. I'm going to help somebody see what I'm talking about. I feel like Taurus that you may have had a friend who, um, who, let me just first say this. Everybody is a star in their own right. And what I mean by that is like everybody has purpose, Taurus. I feel like you may have had a friend who did not want to see your star shine as bright as theirs in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, it could have even been two, two energies that just didn't want your, your light to shine as bright as theirs. And because you all are such a patient sign, Taurus, and such a generous sign, I feel like somebody didn't want to see it. Like I, that, that would be like willfully just, I just don't, I don't want to believe it. And so I was just trying to help somebody to like, listen to what people are saying, but also pay attention to what they're not saying. You know, if they have this kind of judgmental, y'all know what I mean, Taurus, like people who stand around, they turn up their nose at other people. They look down on people. They kind of. I think all of us have been on the receiving end of that. Source needs you to stay away from those energies before you get struck by lightning. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I never saw that happening. Night in the five of swords. Source wants you to get your rest. Stay away from those types of energies and get your rest. Because, and even stay away from talking about them being the devil or a demon that kind of stuff, because you're actually invoking that spirit. You're bringing that energy back. You're bringing that energy back into your universe and put all of that energy towards at least eight streams of income. Sources say, be conservative in talking about how, talking about other energies that you really, you realize they don't align with your purpose. I feel like somebody had a, um, a friend that posed as like wanting to help you, but when outside of your physical presence, when people ask them if you were ready, because I feel like somebody wanted to work with you, Taurus, they shook their head no. You know, they may not have said it audibly, but they kind of look like, mm mm. You ever heard anybody ever say that, Taurus? Like they just, mm mm mm. Like, you know, like, in other words, something is something is being exposed to you to stay away from them. Here we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. It's like every time, when I look at your cards here, it's like every time people wanted to... Um, like people wanted to give you your kudos or pat on the back or add a boy. And it, it wasn't even like somebody could even really see this. This, the, it's, these types of energies were just kind of, um, these energies were just kind of, um, going into, uh, what's the what's the mode I'm looking for? They were going into uh, betrayal, like not betrayal. Hmm. They were going in a oh, sabotage. That's what what's the word I was looking for. They were in sabotage mode, and so source is saying, you know, looking at. Looking at your cards here, I see some good news coming across your path. Like you've been heavily on some people's minds and source doesn't want you to go back to that. A lot of times people don't really see it and you don't know why you angry and frustrated and why you having all these dreams and downloads. And that's why I talk about so much on my channel, um, Taurus, to start documenting your dreams, like start paying attention to this. Because I feel like somebody wanted to work with you, but somebody went into sabotage mode. See, it's very, it's, it's, um, it's very different than like, hmm. 
it's 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 um because this is a general reading, I want you all to really start documenting your dreams because source is downloading stuff in your dreams in ways that I feel like somebody is missing it. Like just somebody, somebody had a, um, a friend or some friends, which is not unusual, Taurus, that people can see people around you that's not really your friend before you see it. And, and, uh, and you all are incredibly smart, but, but you're, sometimes you're over generous to energies that, um, that people keep trying to, maybe, I don't know. I feel like somebody lives by that. Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. And I don't really, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that because that's keeping that energy in your auric field, that auric layer, which could be damaging. So source is trying to tell somebody, you know, when you feel like you're at war with yourself, when it comes to like, okay, one minute I feel inspired, the next minute I feel upset around certain energies, that's source trying to get messages through to you to stay away from anything that you feel uncertain or unsure about, like stop talking about. It's like, what was the um, movie? It's a, it's a movie where they was invoking that Michael Myers spirit that um, uh, kept saying it over and over and over again. Was it Michael Myers, Nightmare on Elm Street? Whatever, that was one of the scary movies. It just kept invoking that spirit, kept talking about it and being around other people that were talking about it. You know how they used to sit around and like, oh, did you, did you ever hear the story about how you can wake up this such and such, this kind of spirit? The more and more you keep talking about it, the more and more you're bringing, you're bringing something alive. You're giving life to something. So once you, looking at your cards here, I feel like, there could be a water sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, excuse me, uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, excuse me. Or somebody, if they have it somewhere in their inner, their inner planets, um, and you can look up inner planets, somewhere in their inner planets, that... It, it's something that's going to be very clear to you all. Here we have the King of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and also Madre Tierra. Uh, a cycle has been a close. Somebody is definitely closing out a cycle in something. Somebody is definitely closing out a cycle in something. Closing it out airtight and moving forward. Um, not talking about it anymore. Here we have the Ten of Wands. I see you being booked and busy and not burdened at all. And Source is going to speed that up for you. I definitely feel like somebody, um, here's the Ten of Swords. I feel like somebody is moving away from betraying themselves. It's not even someone that's like your Judas spirit. Like, you know, being in this over, keep talking about something, even cutting into your own starlight, like content cutting into your own purpose. This right here, Mars, is like we're saying, I'm, I'm breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses, and I need to stay focused. I need to stay focused, focused, focused on my purpose on this planet. And I need to drink some fresh water, not just a cup of water in your filtered water or bottled water or a glass of water. Not just that. We're talking about some good news. I need to do things that nurture me. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. And cut ties with anything that doesn't. So I can control my emotions. Five of Cups and Nine of Wands. Somebody's on the other side of a, a long journey of self-discovery. Like somebody's in the light about something. Five of Cups. Yeah, Taurus. <clears throat> There could be also fire energy involved because um, this right here rules uh, Scorpio and uh, Aries. There could also be a fire energy involved as well. Um, mm, 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 mm. There's... Um, Along along the lines of people saying that you're not ready because you know they you don't know, structure things in a way that they structure things, Taurus. And again, I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. So take only what resonates with you. Being in the presence of people that that you feel like you supported 
their whatever, their belief systems, their dreams, whatever, you support it, their star shining bright, but they don't really support yours. Especially if you've allowed, where's the car? Especially if, if you've allowed them to be close to you or get close, like this energy right here. If you've allowed energies to get close, they see that you're depressed or sad and so on and so forth. And they just stand around and do absolutely nothing. Source of said, as an adult, you can protect yourself at this. You. This is so multi-layered when I look at your cards. This is so multi-layered when I look at your cards. All I can tell you looking at your cards here is that your, st your shooting star is going to just kind of like take off. Once you start to really not only increase your prayer life, but also increase your meditation life so that source can be the one that's going to expose everything to you. Like, okay, I'm shutting everything else down and it's just me and God, like for real. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to see who... where the burnout started. It's like when I talk about uh, our Chiron, like I did a whole video on Chiron, like every sign of Chiron. And I also have some information on my uh, second channel, the knowledge channel about what Chiron means, which is the wounded warrior. And then pulling your birth chart and finding out where Chiron is in your birth chart. You can go to Google and just type in how to find Chiron in your birth chart to heal that wounded part of yourself so that you're not always looking on the outside of yourself and can't see who... Um, who would even choose the option of wounding you? Like, you, I, I really want somebody to go learn how to go that deep. It's like, who has it in them to do that? Like, who has it in them to wound you? There's some people who don't even have it in them to do that. They're like, you know what? Before I hurt Taurus, I'll, I'll cut Taurus off. I'll, move out of, I'll get out of Taurus's way. I want Taurus to thrive because it actually ultimately helps you, it helps the world when you are in your light, when you're in your purpose. It actually helps better the world when you're in your purpose. But I, I feel like Chiron, if you pull your birth chart and find out where your Chiron is and how to heal your Chiron, I think that's going to really speak to your reading, uh, Taurus, because somebody really needs to go back in their mind and really see like, wow, when I look at a pattern of something, because the assumption is something recent, somebody else, you know, those kind of things. But when you look at where that wounded warrior started, like who, who was the first energy that betrayed you? That's what's, that's what's going to really shake some things up in your spirit to let you know, okay, I guess I was just like, what, what was I missing? This right here, this kind of hurt right here can cause somebody to go into a zombified state. And I feel like something may have happened maybe recently that maybe kind of sort of woke up something in your spirit, like really woke up something uh, that was caused something to awaken in your spirit where you may have thought it was one situation, but it actually sources trying to help somebody get to the root of it. So, yeah. Hmm. Your ancestors are very proud of you for breaking cycles, chains, and curses, though. Like, something that you're doing, Taurus, is really bringing honor to your family's name. But I feel like there are going to be some people that's been in your life for a while that this may be the year that it's some, pur some serious purging is going to happen. Limitless. Yeah. See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything and anyone. Mm hmm there's some people that don't want you to shine until they shine first. And I'm not just talking about friends and spouses. There's some family members that don't want you to shine until they shine first. And these could be people that's older than you are. It's like, okay, you haven't gotten enough training yet. You haven't got. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Source is the one that deposited. The... It can start off by looking like. It can start off by looking like, oh, this friend betrayed me. Okay, so, but I never saw that coming. And so it's like, well, why didn't you see it coming? You know, that's what prayer is for. That's what prayer and meditation is for. 
So yeah, it could have been betrayal from a friend. I clearly see like where somebody wanted to give you a shot, like somebody wanted to give you an opportunity, Taurus, and somebody that you felt like you could trust, like a friend that's in the workplace with you or a friend, somebody you let get real close to you, like a friend, and they just kind of shook their head. Like when somebody says, oh, you know, you know, Taurus, uh, you and Taurus are really, really close. I mean, I thought maybe I should come to you and ask ask you about Taurus. You know, you feel like Taurus is ready and, you know, and they were shocked. Like whoever, whoever they asked, the person that was asking about you, Taurus, just knew for certain that this friend was going to say, yeah, oh my God, yeah, I'm so excited for my friend Taurus. But they shook their head no, like, mm-mm. Like, what? And that's, that's the word that somebody took. Like, wow. So. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, and again, it's, it's up to you. Some people like to keep the, what is it, keep the, whatever the saying is, y'all know what it is. Keep your friends close, enemies closer or whatever. But I am worthy of the very best in life and lovingly allow myself to accept what comes my way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This year is going to be interesting, the year of wealth, because it's going to be a lot of people who um, just look at wealth as just money. As source is telling you, you have at least eight streams of income in you, but don't cut that in half by overthinking something. It's just that, you know, download, stay in your purpose. What? Why are you here on this planet Earth? Because you can say, what was the purpose of all of this pain happening to me? Why do people that I think are my friends are not really my friends? What is all of this? You know, I've known them for years and they, and I wouldn't have done that to them. That's, that's a great place to be. You're asking questions. At least you're talking to source. At least you're putting it out into the universe. Source, why? What's the purpose of this? How am I supposed to use this to help my life, better my life, but also help to better other people's lives and somebody's purpose? I feel like you, um, looking at your cards here, uh, Taurus, this is helping move somebody closer and closer towards, um, I feel like you pray for a lot of people, Taurus, and don't realize that people are praying on you. Um... Or your perceived weaknesses, I'll put it that way. And it's almost like being masked, it's like you're not ready yet, or you're not, and you are, you've always been ready because Source made you ready. Source is the one that's taking you through life school, <laughs> like, you know, so, hmm. Fire Festival. It's time to start throwing the word fear, doubt, uncertainty, anything inside of you that's going to. To, that's gonna is moving you away from faith, you know, instead of in having you operate in fear, whatever those demons are. Fire festival through flame and through song, they will rise a new dawn. Yeah, I feel like somebody had somebody around them that seemed like they were team you, Taurus. But when people asked, you know, oh, would you consider Taurus? They were saying no. And, but they like to create so much chaos and confusion that, mm, like, the, like modern day, like not even just modern, yeah, today, like we have AI tools, but they've been around for a while. Uh, like a person would bring you like a fake text message that's not really real or energies that will like create some kind of fake um social media post or whatever that's not really real i mean like that kind of energy to keep confusion it, i don't know it's just crazy absolutely crazy you're going to have to definitely take it to, to source in prayer for real like take it directly to source source show me what i'm not seeing because your star is shining your star is shining really really bright and um there's definitely some energies that uh will cut into that, try to cut into a 444, I am protected. Trust your journey and trust the way that your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. Hmm. All right, let's see what this 
Oh, I cut his name out. You deserve the best. And you do. You deserve the best. You do. I don't I don't understand why some people just feel like this, like, okay, this is a game of chess and this is exciting for people to be around people like keep enemies close. Like what? I, I mean I, I it is it's it's <clears throat> It's a distraction when you can go directly to God and ask God to expose everything in you and around you that would distract you from your purpose. You know, so if there's anything in you like fear, doubt, uncertainty, um, and help you operate in faith. Like, let me give somebody an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say, for instance, you are a, uh, let's say, for instance, you want to, um, uh, create some kind of a healing center or something because I'm seeing so much fire here. Like, let's say that's something that you've been saying, I want to create some kind of healing center. I have all these ideas and so on and so forth. Um, I would say go straight to source and prayer first. I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but like go straight to source, like source. I know you're the one that downloaded this idea in my spirit. So I know you put, I know I have the ability to heal people because I know that I keep getting this positive feedback. I'm healing people. Can you expose everything in me and around me that it, that could, could be a problem for me? Um, that could distract me. I don't care who it is. Expose it, please expose it because I I'm here to work for you. I'm working for you source. It's going to shock some people this year who source exposes, who does not want your star to shine bright. And at first it may be like, well, why don't they want my star to shine bright? Why doesn't such and such and such and such? You can think there's there's so many different reasons. You can either stay stuck on that or you can say, okay, source, thank you. And you help me. You send me the energies, you know, point me in the direction of family members that's going to help me point me in the direction of friends that's going to help me or whoever's going to help me to accomplish my mission and my goal which is very different from um people who are already operating in their purpose and they are already like their 24 hours is already taken that's different um because there's other ways of getting to people i mean do they have a youtube channel do they have a website do they have a physical store where you can go on and just get a little bit of their time? Are they um, sharing um, inspiration? That's different from energies that every good idea you have, they strike it down. Or they're so busy telling you that you, you're not, something is wrong with your ideas instead of helping you to, Okay, well, I'll help, you know, like inspiring and motivate you. Okay, I can see where that idea is going. Let me see if I can help you with that. Like, let me help you. Let me, you need me to do something to help. It, it's, like I said, somebody's going to have to take something in prayer because you absolutely deserve the best in general and just, I mean, overall. And that's what I see was happening for you, Taurus. So I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Again, happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. Your message, your questions for the moon and Libra for those of you all who... Uh, like the questions for the moon and Libra. I mean, the questions. First question is, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, and harmony to the world? And then how could you amplify that? Second question is, what would happen if you were to spend more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves? Third question is, do you receive as much as you give or vice versa? Fourth is, which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space and then last but not least is what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude so a permanent sense of gratitude and even being around those people who are always complaining about something right that's what i have for you like i said you deserve the best you're protected in this place source is saying focus on what your what you want your legacy to be breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses, put all of your energy there on your purposes. I definitely see in your minor archon that there's a lot of fire here. So somebody can absolutely do it. Like, you know, replace that fear with faith in source and watch source expose everything. So you're in a very vulnerable space right now and your ancestors are clapping and cheering for you. Um, yeah, you've been around some people that harshly judged you, but... Those are energies that um, people have harshly judged them too. And so they just, I don't know, maybe they feel like that's how they survive on people's harsh judgment. Maybe that, maybe that motivates them. I don't know. But this should, it doesn't have to motivate you. That's what I have for you. I'll see you on Motivational Monday. Bye.